Okay, what's going on guys? This is Catch Up Gaming. We are now on day three of episode two, Turnabout Sisters. Last time we finished the investigation, we collected hopefully enough evidence to take down Mr. White. I'm not too sure what's going to happen from here on out, um, so here we go. case gets decided today. Ah! Phoenix, look! Ah. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's kind of weird in the future. I never noticed before, but I think they changed it up, right? Yeah, I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. says to me, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have a good thing that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty? End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. White. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an inno per innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie, to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All that I can hope to do is to get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment from Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait. Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. He's not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Confused? Name! These two are great together. 
Red White, but my friends also call me Blanco Nina. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the President of the Did you know the victim is me and they? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. You witnessed the murder from there. Oh. Uh -huh. Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. May we get your testimony? If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho. I hope you have made up I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Around 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly crucifying, uh, that's reading to you. Some papers by the window. Then I heard a bed lamp coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him. A spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then, it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. White. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. It was about nine, I believe. Uh, does that check out? Was it nine? I mean, yeah, but that's when the person was. Oh, it's Miss May said too. Oh, you're crying, There's no harm in there. True, the bubble who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Uh huh. This is your concern? To the lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course, he could not see me. He would need x ray vision to pull out something like that. Tell us, what were you doing at that time? Directly across from the fake co law office? Correct, that is the only window you see. There you were reading. Papers? Correct. The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a businessman who had business to do. And I heard a bed lamp coming from outside. Yeah, I was like, what is a bed lamp? Probably like a sound or something. It must have been when you attacked, I, I assume. Spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Spiky-haired? That's all we have to say about that? Okay. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. What well, you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the ceiling looked like a girl. I've always been 
proud of my eyesight, Mr. Blair. Just what is your eyesight? Counting toes, eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is this judge on anyway? And what did you do then? I called this maid over at once. She too was surprised, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. I think we want to see. One of them doesn't say like which way he, she ran away to because we have the testimony um, that says she ran away to a certain direction, right? Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, on Friday, day, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Okay, what did Miss May say? The victim got an attack and ran to the right. See? Okay, there she was constructed. Okay, that's the contra contradiction here. He gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Fix the grants and left and you can choose. Okay, perfect. Exactly where I want you. Objection! Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What's this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that direction that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho, it's simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. The victim was here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been ran running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Very strange. I did, I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. The reason he saw her running to the left is because he was standing in front of her as he was killing her. So it's left for him, but across the street from his May, it's right. was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fanco, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Show the court where Mr. Wright was standing. Well, he's the killer. He was standing right here. Take that! This is where he was. Look. The victim ran to the ramp of the door. He was watching from this point, and to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion. Prostulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provided us. You provided us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The hilarity 
of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, may I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a, bo fix a broken testimony, buddy. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted a girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right and chased her and delivered the final blow. Oh, come on. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Will you remember, Mr. Lawyer? That does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? I bet I will, I mean. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, we see through this. This one's too easy. It's obviously making something up. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Uh, Erp. Now's my chance to hit him with where it counts. Mr. White, what made you for this war? You were absent positive. request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Oh, the crowd is good, at least. Very well. If the witness should care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Okay. Um, well, you see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thorp! <sighs> That's such a terrible... Thorp, indeed. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. Ugh. Okay, he's really nervous now because he knows we got him. We got him by the balls. Okay. Oh, see, I looked at the other window when I saw that thing fall. Okay, hold on. Right. Okay, object.
impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was the light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question. Isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. So, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? Correct. That would be no problemo, right? Problemo. Of course that's a problemo. There's a big problemo, or I mean, a problem here. What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred? Correct. That is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, and unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. These are the floor plans, the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, your honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, look at the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. White, oh my god, the tongue twisters. To that. Uh, um. Ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you're in the Gatewater Hotel as you were late, you would not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as the glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Bay Law offices. In other words, you were at the same scene of the crime. In other, way, in other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Wow, look at him fall apart. This is always a moment. This is always one of my favorite moments in every trial. Is when we like crack the witness. Mr. White? Oh. Uh, uh, you did it, didn't you? Oh my gosh. Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Oh, you have my crazy face. That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? Ugh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White. Oh, he was beaten. Edgeworth is going to bring him back to life? Ah, uh, I think the time has come. Should we you confess your crime now? What? Oh, I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. Oh, so sneaky. Edgeworth. The wiretap. Order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the core what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. He sounds like a real villain here in this first, uh, first game of the series. I, I, didn't, I didn't remember Edgeworth to be like so... 
CEO of the court. He ordered his secretary, Ms. April May, to tap the claw of his Come back. Uh, correct! You're most correct, Miss Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I reached the Fang Ho Mob. That it is when I saw the cursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain this court for all this weed, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position. Quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand when it was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, this is a fact that this, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. He went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the blase for the baseless conjecture it is. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretap. Uh huh. Leave it to me. I I feel faint. The wiretapping. That's it? Oh my gosh. So, you saw the la light stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound? Correct. That is right. I see very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Okay. Try to see if we can squeeze more information out of him, I guess. I mean, I feel like it's not enough.
run out of ammo. Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that is as, as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You're fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. What? No! Phoenix. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Mia! Oh, I faint. It's... Where... Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost a trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. You're finally awake. Gah! <laughs> I faint again. Phoenix is so weak. Hey, Phoenix. Gah? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Weird. Her boobs got so big. What the hell? You're Maya? Didn't you know the, the, didn't you know the fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that it was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya's challenge channeling you, Mia. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came here to tell you. But... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um... Oh yeah. The one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix. Right wrote that, not me. So... What, could, what do I do with what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item last light stand? Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to be convened. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. I can't believe he just, like, never thought about turning it over... To see, I guess, part of the plot. The court would now be convened for the trial, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant, rather. Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The cross examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Bam! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood. Waha! You're grasping! I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Nobody, like, bothered to look at the other side and check out, like, what it was for? Oh my goodness. 
in your honor. But you tell the court what would be written on the other side of that receipt. Well, a glass light stand. The date of the purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, when you have leisurely entered Bay Code Law Office at the beginning of September, of September at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible achievable. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be a quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of Objection! No, 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 Mr. Edgeworth. Not so fast. Phoenix Wright. Eh? What? No way he can warm his way out of this one. Oh, wait. I forgot. It's Edgeworth. Precisely. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo... I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just, make, just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. But Jack, don't do it, but I think he's gonna... He might be just like that. Mr. White is guilt. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. No need to prolong this trial any further. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, if anyone's going to call Mr. White to trial, it will be me, the prosecution. I need a day to certain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. I see. Objection denied. What? The complete the completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia shows up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Gah! The witness will stay. Miss Mia! Phoenix. Read this note out loud. Mia? What's this? Memo received from you. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. I believe I am. My life is writing on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. No. What you say? Listening to people's name in Mia's handwriting. Take that! Oh, to people that, like, he... Blackmailed or killed or something? The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S stop! Detest! Halt! Please, stop! Make him stop! How... How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. Oh, finally got him. I, I confess. I confess. I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. I'm just like, huh, I guess I did it. Oops. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Right? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Well, the score finds defense. Uh, rather, the defendant, Phoenix Wright.
That is all. The court the court is adjourned. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me. About that night. You came. Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Wah! You should see your face. Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. But Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like. Were her. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, uh, Maya, what are you doing here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of? Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new right and law offices, right? And who better but me? This Maya Faye. Reporting for duty. Wait, no. I'll second thought. Let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. I am here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind calling. You don't mind but nah. you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that. It's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. fault I'm here now. But if it weren't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Brighton Co. Law Offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, ma'am. first episode, I think, of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, um, and it was very good. It was very sad that a character that we came to know and love, Mia, was killed off, but the ending made it very, very bittersweet, very sweet at the end, where everything is kind of wrapped up, and then she, you know, is, is watching you, and she's happy, knowing that she's in a better place. Anyway... Uh, this has been another episode of Phoenix Wright, and we've concluded Turnabout Sisters. As you can see, the next episode will be Turnabout Samurai, but I think I'm going to end this episode here and continue on the next one. So I'll see you later.